So recently, Shaq brings up this great point of not opening, opening up to other women when it comes to being vulnerable. See, what women have to realize is it's already tough for us men to be vulnerable at all. The things that we deal with in our own lives with, you know, business and friends and family, you know, especially if you're a successful man, I mean, your level of trust just evaporates each new milestone you accomplish. So us men having have to go out and fight the world and accomplish things, and we know how backstabbing people can get, it's already tough for us to open up but you want to throw salt on the wound insult to injury by taking our vulnerability for granted and throwing it back in our faces and then you have the nerve to tell us or ask us why we don't open up we don't open up because we don't want our trust to be violated and ultimately what we figure out is if we don't open up, there's a zero chance that we'll get violated. So the best scenario is for us just to be quiet most of the time. At best, you go find a guy that's at your level or higher, a guy that's your age or older and go talk to him. And you go talk to him because he's been through it. He knows what you're going through. Other than that, you stay, you shut up. Because that's your best card to move. Now, I was thinking about something else recently. And I got to get into this Bible verse that, that kind of, I'm not going to get religious on you guys. So don't, you know, think I'm, you know, bad, you know, like a pastor, you're going to hell. I was just thinking about this hypothetical situation. So, but before we get into that, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. If you like the video, uh, if you guys want to support the channel, all the ways you can support the channel are in the description below. So they say, let's say for hypothetical or hypothetically speaking, we are, the Bible is true. It's a hundred percent true. Um, there's no question about it. And the reason why I say hypothetically is because the way Christians, Muslims, religious people act in general today with such corruptions in the church is hard. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to speak for you guys, but I'm going to speak for myself. Going to the church, following organized religion in this time, and hell, even in the past times, it's not a logical, sensical, uh, rational decision to make with all of this corruption and you know, I, I saw this woman this one time. She was like, yeah, I, you know, I was having sex since I was 13 years old. I just slept with over 100 men. But you know what? I'm a God-fearing woman. And yeah, I'm like, baby girl, what God are you praying to? He don't hear you. So, but let me, I, I digress, right? So Adam and Eve in the garden. God says, hey, it's not good for man to be alone. So I'm going to create a woman so he can have companionship and so that she can help him. See, any woman that's a Christian but a feminist is not a Christian because God puts the man above the woman. I digress again. So in the Bible, during the Garden of Eden, God says you can eat at anywhere in this garden you can eat acre full of food except this one place you know adam and them are like yeah 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 we got all this food why the hell we need to do this but the woman just had to be interested in the one tree and not only was she interested, she got influenced 
by the devil. He got in her ear, convinced her that God was trying to keep or withhold something from them, which is why he told them not to eat of that tree. Adam, lacking in his leadership at that moment, takes the, the fruit. She convinces him to eat the fruit too. And now, instead of living in infinite years, they have a death date. And we've been having a death date ever since. When a woman is left to her own devices or when she's not under good leadership, She goes ape shit. She self destructs. Think about what I just said. And think about when women cheat. God gets in her ear, tells her all the things she wants to hear. Hey, you know, I'll do what your man won't do. You know, he not having sex with you, right? He not taking you on extravagant dates. He not telling you that you're beautiful nation every day. I'll tell you that you're beautiful every day. If you just leave him. Woman leaves man. She gets with that guy. He pumps and dumps her. Now she's out in the cold. Monkey branch to a branch that was fragile and fell straight on her ass. If a woman doesn't have guidance from the man, meaning that she's with a guy or, and she, he's not a strong masculine male that knows what he wants, leadership, assertiveness, or she is rebelling against the man The direction that she's going in life is nowhere. When was the last time you seen a single woman just winning in life? And I'm not talking about the exceptions of, you know, that one business woman or whatnot. I'm talking about like a high percentage. I'm talking about over 50 percent. If you know 10 women and six, and they're all single, you know, 50 to or five or six of those women, 50 to 60 percent are single and successful, leading productive lives. How many situations do you guys know like that? So women are bucking something in today's society that is not going to end well for them. And here's the kicker. They don't even see it. They don't see it. Until it's too late. When they're 40. And no woman, no guy worth his salt will date a single woman at 40 years old. Why the hell are you single at 40 years old? You can't have children. You're not as attractive. And women get mad at this shit, but it's the fucking truth. I mean, that's the reason why you you guys are in this position that you're in right now, because everybody's lying to you. Feminism lied to you. So, you know, some of the women in your group lied to you because misery loves company. She wants to be single because she's telling you to be single because she wants to be single with somebody else. This is how goofy this society has gotten and so if you're a guy and you're just going out here trusting people and just automatically trusting women you're an idiot and it's going to show you it's going to show up sooner than later that's my video but you guys don't click off you click this next one up here this next one is a good video i put for you guys you guys check that one out and i'll see you guys on the next one man Peace.